Hello there! Welcome back to my survival series. My name is Skidster. This is episode 4 of said survival series, and I hope that you are doing well today. In the last episode, I built this brand new storage room building right here, and I built this wall all the way along here around my city. In this episode, I am going to be building an iron farm in this big pyramid right here. In between episodes, I spent some time organizing my things in the new storage room. I also went out and I mined some blackstone, and finally I got some empty buckets, and I went and filled them up with lava so I could have everything I need for today's build. So let's get into today's episode. So obviously you guys have heard my cat in the past couple episodes if you watched them, and so I decided I was going to uh, dye her collar purple, and I was going to name her Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Everybody say hello, Samantha. Samantha, say hello back. Say it back. They never meow when you want them to. Anyway. Um, oh, well, okay, now you say it. All right, well, I got my supplies here. So I got a blackstone box for building. I have a bucket of lava, a, a box filled with buckets of lava. Oh, wow, that's a mouthful for the, a, uh, for the kill chamber. And then I have the coal blocks for like texturing the blackstone. So the blackstone is, it's gonna be the regular blackstone, the block, the blocks of coal. And then it's going to be the polished blackstone bricks, and it's just going to be all mixed together. And then finally, I have the 20 beds and the 20 workstations. So for the mechanics of a iron farm on Minecraft Bedrock, you have to have at least 20 beds, and you can have up to 20 villagers. Well, you can have more than that, but you need you need a minimum of 10 villagers. And 75% of those guys have to have worked, and then... You need a spawning spot for the iron golems, and the iron golems need a, a two by two, so like a four block square here, and then it needs to be four high for them to be able to spawn. And then those are the, oh, and they also, they spawn in a 16 by 16, and then by like 16, so 16 blocks in each direction. The iron golems, they spawn in there from the center of the village. So I'm gonna be following a tutorial by Silent Whisperer. He's got a lot of good tutorials, so go check out his channel. And I'm gonna be following the tutorial just a little bit. I mean, mostly for the platforms, the spawning platforms, the top and the bottom, and then obviously where you put the villagers. Um, but you know, I read the Wikipedia page for the mechanics, but the killing chamber is going to be my own design. I'm gonna try and make my own so that the, uh, It'll look kind of cool, and uh, I'm going to use lots of lava. So I'm excited for that. And then let me get building. I'm going to start building just the, the first platform here. And then I really should start working on getting the villagers over here, but I haven't even I haven't even thought about doing that yet. That's going to be a whole ordeal and a half. So I'm going to first, I'm going to build the platforms first, which may not be the smartest idea, but I'm going to get going. So I got this whole platform built out now on both both the lower and the the upper layer So now I just need to place all this water That is the last of the water. Nice. All right. So we got all the water in, and uh, we got all the obviously the, the spawning platforms for the iron golems in. And we got all the beds. So the next step would to be to put the villagers in here. But call me crazy, but I think I'm gonna decorate it 
first before I even get it started, it's just gonna get, be completely decorated, which is kind of uh, kind of wild. I should probably, you know, build it first and get it working, but eh, I'm just gonna decorate it first. So let's do that. So one night before I was going to bed, I was just thinking about Minecraft <laughs> and uh, I was thinking about making, you know, this iron farm and it's just kind of like a floating thing. And uh, my idea was that I wanted to like make it so that it was suspended by chains. But the problem with that is that like the, the chains are just so skinny and small. So my idea was instead of having like sort of chains that are the, the chains, the new chains that they made in 1.16, I could just make my own chains. So we could just make these big chains like this. There'll be four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four blocks tall, um, like this, and then like this, and then like this. All right. And then if I build up this side like this, so we got four blocks again, and then we're going to go out again. So it's, it's like different little, like, uh, the links, uh, of the chain are about four blocks tall. And then there's three blocks wide and then we'll take out this pillar and we'll have a look at it. Holy moly. So instead of having like the little skinny chains that are, uh, you know, in Minecraft now as of 1.16, I thought this would look a lot cooler. So I'm gonna have four chains on all the corners and they'll just suspend the platform like that instead of, you know, having tiny little skinny chains. I really like it. So I'm gonna get the rest of these chains in here and I'll be right back. Also, if you're wondering, my internet isn't working. So I am now Steve, <laughs> sad days. All right, so I got these four chains in here and they look really good. I really like the way that they like, uh, hold up the the island like it's kind of you know like floating otherwise because most of the that's the way that you know the iron farm is kind of built is like floating so that none of the iron golems spawn on the floor but this kind of like holds it up in the air so it looks really good i really like it uh i mean the other option would have to have been have to built a, a building around it but then you know why would there be a building inside of this temple but you know i suppose there's some sort of something underneath here and then the for the killing chamber i would like to dig out an area and have like a lava pit where the iron golems fall in it so that that's gonna look really cool i think hopefully we'll find out and then as far as like the walls and then the rest of the interior i'm not quite sure to be honest um obviously i need to get rid of like the orange acacia wood and then like the dirt and stuff but this dirt is like holding up gravel so um i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do for an interior like for the walls um and i also think i need a little bit more lighting in here for sure just so it, you know obviously this is not torches and so that you can see these chains better but honestly i think it looks really good i really like the chain effect so i don't know exactly how i'm going to do the walls and everything but i'm just going to go ahead and start digging out an area for the killing chamber down here all right, a little bit of time has passed, and now I need to fill up this area with, uh, I was testing it to see if the, the lava would fit, but I need to put the lava in here. Uh, but here's the, the little lava pit that I made. So the iron golems are gonna fall down from here, and they're gonna land in the lava. So there's gonna be a single lava blade that floats right there. Um, and then I'm gonna fill in a bunch of other lava so that they'll, it'll kind of look like this whole like lava, like, I don't know, pit of death. That they fall into and then i'm I, ha I have to be honest i have been avoiding getting the villagers in here by doing the other things so i'm gonna put this lava in here and then i guess that that'll do it for decorating i'll do the the walls and then the floor and everything i'll do that afterwards but i need to start at least breeding the villagers and i've been avoiding it because they're just they're so obnoxious so i suppose let's get this lava in here and then we can deal with the villagers <laughs> Hello down there, how are you doing? So I brought a fire resistance potion just in case, but I'm gonna drink that. And then let's try and put some of this lava in here and I'm gonna see if it'll actually create the effect that I'm going for. I wanna burn this guy without killing him. Or like, obviously I wanna kill him. Oh, well, that didn't hark. Ah, whatever, burn! <laughs> well, he's dead now, so. All right, so we got that in there. And that's gonna be like the, the blade that they kind of die in. So I think the floor is going to have to be one, one less than that. 
And then let's get some more lava here and let's see what happens. Um, I, want, I want to have like an effect of it like fall flowing downwards. So maybe I need to bring these all one, one up. Oh no, that, that'll work. Okay, uh, if I do one here, 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 and then like one on the, on all four corners there. Okay. What if I put one here and here? I think this is going to work out just like this. So maybe I did bring enough, or maybe I didn't bring enough water, bu uh, lava buckets. Like I thought, I was like, oh, I have way too many, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I didn't bring enough. <laughs> there, there. All right. That one, that one. Okay. All right. We're looking good so far. Now the next layer. So we want probably one here and then maybe to stop it from... What, what, what happens if I put a block here, right? So that way the lava will flow out first. Is that gonna look okay? I think so, maybe. If all else fails, we'll just put more on the sides, but let's put it here like this for now on each side. How much time do I have left? 39 seconds. Oh my goodness. Gotta hurry. Oh, I, di I didn't. Do I didn't do that. I did it too fast. I'm. I'm too quick, boy. I am speed. Quick, 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 quick. I gotta. I gotta make sure I put in these and then get. Get, get the heck out of here, dude. I think. I think. Then one in the corners, and I think it'll be fine. Maybe. Let's. Let's take a look what it looks like with one. Uh, one bucket in each of these corners. All right. So one, two, three. And then finally, f oh no, what are you doing? Four. <laughs> That's pretty good. But I almost think it needs to be higher. Because <laughs> it is like flowing down. It's kind of like a pit of lava, which is cool and it's what I want. But I'm thinking like it should go all the way to the edge here maybe, right? Yeah, let's do that. I don't think I have enough lava buckets for this. I have six left. If we put one there, there. I'm going to fall in this. I know it here here i think with two more in that corner that's kind of creates the the lava pool effect that i was going for look pretty cool maybe i'm gonna, I'm gonna put yeah so i'm gonna need one here on this corner one on this corner oh i knew i was gonna fall in i told you <laughs> i told you i was gonna fall in <laughs> oh my goodness okay so we're doing <laughs> it was only a matter of time one here one there one there one there and then two on each on e either of those sides all right, so I need, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need six more buckets of lava. Man, I thought I brought too much, or too many, I should say, but I did not. Well, I will be right back. To the nether we go. No, God, please, no! That was legitness. Oh my goodness, no way. <gasps> oh. Help me. I think I'm going to burn to death. Okay, all right, we're good. I fell in the lava. I can't believe I did that. Oh, no. That was so close. Oh, no. I don't have fire resistance or anything. Oh, no. Whew. All right, with that, that close call out of the way, I now have more lava. So I'm going to put one there, there, here, here, and then I need one more or two more? Two more. One for each of the corners, here, and then here. All right. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I should, maybe I should move the, the like the wall around it, like closer in. Maybe. Let's just let's just find out and see. Let's just see what it looks like. All right. So I think it looks like basically the same. It, it doesn't look much better, but I mean it, it. It doesn't look worse. I don't think so. I think this edge right here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, maybe I'll just either get rid of it, or it also just depends on what I do with the floor here. But I think for now this looks pretty good, right? Like. You know, there's just a, a, a lava pit that the iron golems will fall down. And now, I'm not sure. I just fell in the lava again. I died. What is wrong with me? <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure if the, the the iron golems, they should fall and they should be fine. Like, to like, well, I mean, obviously, they're not going to be fine. They'll die. But like, <laughs> they should go straight through to the bottom, to the bottom section where I have all those buttons and stuff. So um, I also need to get a little bit of an area to go down below. So I think I'll just dig out a little hole, but uh, let's just deal with these villagers, right? Let's just, let's just get it over with. I need to go get a bed and I need to bring it over there to my, I have three villagers right now in those houses. And so hopefully I can get two of them to breed 
and then I'll just bring the babies over here. I'll bring two babies over here and then grow them up and then I'll make them breed. So this will be like at least 20 minutes for the babies to grow up and then I get to get 20 villagers. So this is going to take a lot of hours. So uh, I will be back in just a bit. One eternity later. Alrighty, I'm back. So uh, for you guys, it's been about three seconds. For me, it's been about four days because I've been extremely busy with, with work and everything. But I got everything working. I got these villagers installed right here on both sides. I tried to connect, you know, connect them so they would be you know, attached to the edges of this thing. And they're on both sides, as you can see over there. There's the other one right there. So there's two, and I added something up top here. And this is essentially all the work I've gotten done in the past four days because I've been extremely busy with work. And so this is a cool lantern that I made. I thought I thought it turned out pretty well. So I built this floating down to kind of try and help light up the area a little bit. So it looks pretty, it turned out exquisite. So I'm going to leave it there, I think, unless you guys say otherwise. <laughs> and I have to be honest, I'm really struggling with what to do with the design for the inside of this pyramid. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. I have to wrap, wrap up this episode anyway. It's getting about the time. So I think I'm just gonna have to leave it for this episode because I'm really struggling with some inspiration. So for now I'm gonna leave it and we'll have to just come back to it when, whenever I can uh, finally find something I would like to, to decorate it with. All right, so the things to look forward to for next episode, I would like to work on getting some of that forest in here that I mentioned earlier in the episode. And also I think I'm just gonna kind of cut this entire hill back this way. I was thinking about planning out this city, right? And I think I want the entrance to the city, the main entrance, to actually come from over here, right? So when you walk up the city, or walk in through like the front gates or whatever, however I decide that I'm gonna put an entrance to the city. But I think that would look a lot cooler if uh, the sight line is from El Castillo, like from a distance and then you, you it's gonna be really crammed. There's lots of other buildings and stuff and then you kind of come around and then you, you come around and it's like, bam, look at that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try to plan out the city a little bit better and that'll come out in the next episode. And I want to kind of create a forest going around it to hide the city. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked it, leave a like. And if you want to see more of the, the episodes, drop a subscription down below. And that's going to have to do it for me. Catch you guys in the next episode. Stay spicy. Stay spicy.